And now to a story that's perhaps one of the most important stories to come out today. This is from Afghanistan and this is very significant. Afghanistan has been living under the shadow of war for 18 years now. For the wom women of Afghanistan, these 18 years have been a nightmare. Their plight has largely been hidden due to the repressive social norms. No one knows when peace will return to this country, but the women have secured a significant win. Now, the name of the mother will be printed on every identity card in Afghanistan. It is a very big deal. This report tells you why. In most countries around the world, your mother's name will be part of the government records. Any form that you fill without it will be considered incomplete. But in Afghanistan, sharing your mother's name is considered a matter of shame. Not anymore. After a relentless campaign, the women in Afghanistan have registered a small victory. Afghan citizens will soon have the names of their mother printed along with their father. It will appear on Afghanistan's national identification card. For three years now, the hashtag Where is my name has been amplifying the voices of women. It's a significant effort in a country like Afghanistan, where even using a woman's name in public is frowned upon. Many consider it an insult, enough to trigger violence. Women are referred to in weak terms like mother of children, my household, my weak one. Men in remote towns even use names of animals like goat and chicken. It wasn't always so. Afghanistan wasn't always so misogynistic. In the 1960s and early 70s, it had a very progressive outlook. Women could pursue an education, get a job, even vote in an election. Women in Afghanistan got the right to vote in 1919. That was a year before women were allowed to cast their ballot in the United States. All of this changed with the rise of the Taliban. In 2011, Afghanistan was ranked the most dangerous country for women. In the last two decades, women have gone back to school. They hold important government jobs. But the threat from the Taliban is persistent. By November 2019, nearly 6,500 cases of violence against women were recorded. With the United States chasing a peace deal in Afghanistan, women fear that their voices will be left out. Every woman in Afghanistan has a fear, not just uh, because of this conversation. We always have a fear that whenever there is changes in Afghanistan, there, whenever there is a political change, always women are hurt. Whenever there is a war, women are the first uh, to get the hit and the children also. At this time of uncertainty, the decision to add names of mothers on government IDs is a boost for women's rights. This is a change that still requires parliamentary approval. Officials are confident the amendment will sail through. The lawmakers may have taken a small step here. But for the women of Afghanistan, this is a giant leap towards equality. Bureau Report, Vion World is One.